we can do that quickly with a with a negated character class, just like we did before. We want to match everything that's not this sign. Okay, so that's character class not that one or more occurrences of that, and we still have that bracket left, so we got to include that bracket. Now we didn't have to write info title again, and we're starting at our where we need to go. Okay, so now we're at the name. Now we need to start remembering for real. Now we're going to use our parentheses. Now we want to, what do we want to remember till? We want to remember until we get to, ah, here we go, this opening tag right here. That's where we want to stop. So, just like we did before, we're going to remember everything that's not this guy, right? So everything that's not that guy, one or more occurrences. Boom. There we go. Now we've got our name, and here is our much shorter regex. Let's compare that to this guy. Whoops. Let's compare that to this right here. Okay, so this is our newfangled, brand new tools kind of regex, where we don't have to dom crawl through every element. And how cool is this? Well, let's say we want to get, um, let's say we want to get info text next, or let's just say short text. Okay, that's the actual next thing we need. Remember, what we're looking for is the ability to do these three meta tags. So now we've got the image source, and we've got title. Now let's just get the description. Again, our description is going to be our short text. So using this cool new text we can just say short text boom there it is right here done okay you see how cool that is and and I'd love to reiterate this I'm gonna do it and I really hope you get it now okay what this is saying and this is really what you gotta remember this whole chunk right here is saying match until I get to this string that's what this is saying that's the baseline of what you need to understand is that this code says match until you get to this string Okay. Again, remember though, it's going gonna, it's gonna to match at the start of the string, so you've got to say, okay, well, I don't care what the string was, match the end of it, now start remembering what's inside until I get to the end. Okay. So I hope you learned some new tricks with regex here, and I hope I've explained it properly, because this stuff is really hard to understand, and it's even harder to explain. So I hope you picked it up. Feel free to ask questions if you need to.